In May, the legal counsel for Priscilla and Riley came to an agreement regarding Lisa Marie's trust, and at the time, Priscilla stated that the Presley family is stronger than ever. Join us in this video as we talk about the updates regarding Lisa Marie's trust. They have struck an agreement to end the dispute. The families are overjoyed, according to Ronson Shamoon, Priscilla's attorney, who spoke to the press. There is joy felt by all, unified and together, as well as enthusiastic about the future. In addition, Gold, Riley's attorney, stated that she would not have agreed to the settlement if she was not happy with it. In January 2023, Priscilla had submitted a petition in which she questioned the authenticity and validity of an amendment to Lisa Marie's trust that had been made in 2016. This change had taken away Priscilla's role as co-trustee and given control of the trust to Riley. Priscilla and Lisa Marie's former business manager, Barry Siegel, was formerly named on the trust as a co-trustee. The trust is comprised of Elvis Presley's much-loved Graceland property, as well as a 15% ownership in Elvis Presley Enterprises. Priscilla asserted that she was unaware of the 2016 alteration until after Lisa Marie had passed away, and she contended that it ought to be nullified for a number of reasons. One of which being the fact that Lisa Marie had failed to inform her of the changes as stipulated under the terms of the trust. But Lisa Marie's friend told People Magazine in March that there was zero question what the actress wanted. Lisa wanted Riley and her late son Ben to be the trustees, and for all of her children to be the beneficiaries of the estate. According to a number of different sources, the legal processes caused Riley and Priscilla to stop communicating with one another. They do not see eye to eye, an insider of the Presley family said to the media. However, in the statement that Priscilla released after the deal was reached in May, she declared that her family had resolved all confusion as it relates to their plea to the court and request for document interpretation after her daughter, Lisa Marie's untimely passing. She wrote that as a family, they are pleased that they have resolved it together. She added that she and her family hope that everyone would grant them the privacy that they have needed to properly grieve the loss of Lisa Marie and to spend personal time together. Priscilla then stated at the end that they love and appreciate all of the supporters and that the Presley family is stronger than ever. People Magazine can confirm that the late Lisa Marie Presley's half-brother, Navarone Garibaldi Garcia, who is not related to Lisa Marie's biological father, Elvis Presley, is in line to be given one-ninth of her trust. The decision was made public one month after Lisa Marie's daughter, Daisy Jones, and the sixth actor, Riley Keough, and the late singer's mother, Priscilla Presley, came to an agreement over the inheritance of the late singer. According to documentation acquired by People magazine, Riley has become the sole trustee of Lisa Marie's estate and has asked the court in Los Angeles on Monday, June 12, to approve the settlement agreement that was reached the previous month. Following court approval of the settlement, Riley will take on the role of trustee for her 14-year-old twin sisters, Harper and Finley Lockwood, investing their funds in a manner consistent with the needs of the beneficiaries and not influenced by the desire of a trustee, as Riley's attorney, Justin Gold, put it in the paperwork. According to the documents, Priscilla will take on the role of trustee for the one-night subtrust that belongs to Navarone. The remainder will be distributed equally among Riley, Finley, and Harper, and Priscilla will be given a one-time lump sum payment from the trust for an amount that will remain confidential. Gold states in the petition that Riley would not charge a fee for her services as a trustee. Hence, the beneficiaries all save money that would have gone to Priscilla, who was going to charge a trustee fee. Gold adds the following in the documents. In settling the claims pending in Priscilla's petition, the parties are saving significant legal fees by avoiding litigation. They are likewise avoiding the spectacle of intra-family litigation that would have been inimical to Lisa's wishes and not in the best interests of the family. Priscilla was officially removed as trustee of her late daughter's estate on May 11, according to the paperwork, and that change will remain in place 
regardless of whether or not Riley's petition is allowed, as Priscilla signed a settlement agreement. Navarone, whose father is the producer Marco Garibaldi, spoke to People magazine shortly after Lisa Marie's passing in January on the ways in which his family lineage influenced his childhood. He stated that a lot of people may know about him, but they don't know him at all. The musician said at the time that he got into trouble more than everybody else because the other kid's parents would find out who his mom was and then they would want a reason to speak to her. He stated that he wasn't very comfortable with it. Navarone spent his childhood with both of his parents until their split in 2006, which came after they had lived together for 20 years without being married. It wasn't until after the breakup that Navarone and his father developed their close relationship. Navarone recalled that the role of the disciplinarian didn't work between them, but the role of the friend did. His father was looking for someone to go out drinking with. At the age of 18, he relocated himself approximately six hours away from his family in Los Angeles to Santa Cruz. It was in Santa Cruz that he eventually established the band known as Them Guns. He said that it was an escape, a fresh start. Santa Cruz is a little portal that sucks you in. In 2012, Navarone, who had previously participated in another band while he was a teenager, relocated to Los Angeles in order to pursue a career in music with Them Guns. At that time, he thought that, okay, he's going into the family business now. He'll just write a song, and then his group would start touring it. What he didn't realize, however, was that it took way more than just that. During that time, he stated that he considered himself fortunate to have Priscilla's assistance and contacts, but he emphasized that it is a misconception that he was raised extravagantly with Elvis's estate and money. He stated that the case wasn't like that at all. In the years preceding up to Lisa Marie's passing, the two were not particularly close, despite the fact that his half-sister had also embarked on a career in the music industry and had released her first album in 2003. From the time he was a teenager, he had a difficult time overcoming his addiction to substances. He overcame the whole thing in 2020, in large part, so that he could travel to Switzerland, the homeland of his now wife Elisa, whom he married in 2022. In a different part of the interview, Navarone made the assertion that he is good friends with Keo. He made the observation in reference to Finley and Harper saying, Riley has been so good with the twins. It's quite amazing that Navarone, Lisa Marie's half-brother, was given a portion of her trust. What do you think of the whole situation? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.